I was uh, wondering if you could help me understand the FTX scandal. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so FTX is a very, very big cryptocurrency exchange company. Uh, they were very legit. They even had their own stadium at Florida. Um, and uh, I think the simplest way I can put it is that Sam Bankman fried uh, used customers' funds to make very risky trades. And essentially, he says, we're okay. We have This is how much funds we have. But in reality, they were very low on funds. So the issue was that, number one, customers who had the app, who owned funds with an FTX, uh, their funds were really not their own. Uh, it was a, it, and that's, what, that's the cost of centralization. Uh, when you don't own your keys to your wallet, you don't really own your cryptocurrency. And so I, I owned, uh, I used FTX. FTX was a sponsor of my channel and a lot of creators too. And we really thought, and we really believed in FTX as well. Uh, but once things started to get shaky, uh, I pulled all my funds out. I didn't lose any money, thankfully. But I felt really bad too at the same time because uh, I know uh, a lot of creators, and including myself, we felt really bad because we promoted a platform where we thought was legit, but then there was just really good liars in in it, uh, in the company. And um, yeah, Sam Bankman Free, he was branded as like a like a young genius, a very giving person, and we all fell into it. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of people have lost funds and. Yeah, that's the that's the biggest issue. Uh, the biggest, I guess, uh, takeaway. Uh, mm. They traded with customer funds, and they lost money. Yeah. So, how do they make money from? I give them money to invest for me, right? That's how mm -hmm. it works. How do they make money from that? If they invested in risky funds that essentially lose the money. Correct. So. Mo Actually, like 99%, like majority of the cryptocurrency exchanges, they make money off of the trading fees. So like Coinbase, if you buy like $100 worth of Bitcoin, there's like a $3 fee or something like that. That's how they make money. But you can, you can imagine if there's like hundreds and thousands, like thousands of transactions every single day, they're making thousands on just the fees alone. And so that's how people, you know, companies like FTX, Coinbase, um, Gemini, like a lot of the bigger exchanges make uh, money. Um, the issue is that people, we, we want to believe like companies like Coinbase, they, they say that whatever we purchase, they purchase that crypto and put it in cold storage. That means that they keep it safe. FTX also kind of claim the same thing. And so we believe that when we buy funds from FTX, um, it was safe, but, uh, what really was happening was they took our funds, uh, and they were trading on leverage. Uh, very irresponsibly, yeah. Hmm. So they seemed super legit in the beginning, and when was kind of that tipping point where people started to realize something's wrong here? Uh, it would. It's usually through Twitter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's just like it's just like people messaging and saying, "Be careful!" Like you just see like little warning signs here and there. The moment you kind of see those, you you run. Yeah, mm. as quick as possible. Yeah, but. So that was the biggest, that, that was like the starting point for me personally.